Now, staying with that story, let's go to our correspondent in the Thai capital, Bangkok. Chris Johnson's been following events there. Chris, thanks very much for being with us this morning. Uh, can you update us on these protests in Thailand? Well, there's more protests happening right now outside of the Burmese embassy in Bangkok. Basically, what happens is that the more that the uh, military junta in Rangoon tries to clamp down on protests inside Burma, the more people protest outside of Burma. And, uh, Chris, what uh, implications does this have for the refugee situation overall in Thailand? Well, the Thailand is increasing its security along the border. Just yesterday, they rounded up a group of Burmese who are trying to sneak illegally into Thailand near Maasai in the north. Thailand already has refugee camps full of Burmese that are overflowing, uh, they have problems of malaria and dengue fever. So Thailand really doesn't want more of that coming into its country. And of course, it's trying to resettle uh, Burmese refugees in other countries. That's going to become problematic now too, isn't it? Exactly. I mean, we don't know what's going to happen, but if you look at what happened in 1988, thousands and thousands of Burmese came over the border. Many of them are still here, and they're, they're a very active force here. Uh, Burmese that are here inside Thailand, they can see the kind of economic growth that's happening around Asia, and they want that for their own country, Burma. So that's one of the motivations behind their protests. Chris, what about the UN envoy uh, extending his visit in Burma? Can you tell us more about that? Well, he's trying to see the Burmese leader, Tan Shui. He didn't see him on his first uh, trip up to the new capital. He did see Aung San Suu Kyi yesterday. The United Nations saying that they're not going to leave Burma until they get a meeting with Tan Shui. Also, ASEAN's uh, ch uh, chief representative has sent a letter today to Tan Shui saying he backs what the United Nations is doing. This is very important because the international community needs to have a united front to deal with Burma, just like they have a six-party talks going on with North Korea. If they don't do that, otherwise China will be afraid to uh, pull out its business from Burma because they're afraid that Burma will go closer to India or to, to Thailand diplomatically. So united front is really the key here. Okay, thank you very much, Chris Johnson reporting from Bangkok. A blow